fatto! Segui la corda! Segui la corda! Ma segui la corda! Sì, sei corda! Ma segui la corda! Bastardo, vieni! Dai, vieni! Vai, vai, vai! Is this a place? I think it is. Yes. May I help you? Y yes. Hi. My name is Sarah Garner and this is James. Oh, yes, of course, yes. I was expecting you. Um, come in, please. Thank you. My name is Dante, Miss Gardner.
I suppose I should show you the house. Oh, that would be great, Dante. Thanks. Do you need any help with that, sir? No, that's okay. Thank you. Okay, then uh, follow me, please. You were very lucky to get this place, Miss Gardner. This is a beautiful place, as you can see. It's a shame to see all of this empty now. People have come here all week to pick stuff up. I suppose it is. I'll miss Uncle Jack. His passing was a tragedy to all of us. I'm glad I have this place to remember him. Yes. Master Gardner was a very decent man. It was an honor to have served him all these years. It's a pity you never came here to visit your uncle. All these years he lived here. I'm sure that would have pleased him. I wish I had. But you know this is such a long way from the U.S. as I'm sure you can understand. Yes. And now you just found an excuse to come all the way to Italy to collect an inheritance. A situation has called for it, yes. Also, I'm planning to move here. I need to stay away from home right now. Hmm. Is everything okay, Miss Gardner? Everything's just fine, Dante. I just need a rest. This is a good place for resting, yes. Why don't you show us the rest of the place, Dante? Right this way, sir. This is the living room. What's left of it, I should say. But I suppose you can do a lot with this place. We sure can. The options are uh, limitless. This is beautiful. So peaceful. Not much around here, is there, Dante? No, sir. Closest town is 50 miles away. This is the end of the world, I'm afraid. Where do you stay, Dante? I stay in one of those houses over there. Oh, I see. Been here as long as I can remember. What can you tell me about the surroundings? I heard that my uncle had a lot of property around here. Well, miss, it's just a big forest. Nothing but trees, bugs, animals, and all that comes with it. Any wild animals? Any ghosts or witches? There are many things in this woods, sir. Things you would even care to know about. Now I'm intrigued. Is there anything we should know, Dante? I suppose I should tell you. Tell us what? It happened a long time ago. Two hundred years, to be exact. It was 1794. A very rich man and his family used to live here. They owned all this land around us. His name was Domenico Salerno. He was an aristocrat. One day, Salerno finds out his daughter has been raped. He finds out one of his workers did it. A man called Francesco Falcone. That same night, at the break of dawn, Salerno and one of his other workers carry Falcone into the forest. They carry him violently into the woods until they stop. <laughs> the 
worker, then ties the rope to a tree and watches Salerno cut Falcone's face continuously. <coughs> Salerno keeps Falcone barely alive, barely breathing. He then orders the worker to dig a hole and buries the rapist alive. The odd thing is, just a few days later, Salerno and his family are found dead, with their faces all cut up. Legend has it that Falcone himself came out of his grave to avenge his death. And he still does, people say. He still comes out and kills whoever walks or wanders around the place he was killed. <laughs> Some story. Believe what you will, sir. My advice to you is to keep away from that place. I have never even been close to the site. True or not, why take the chance? Is it close by? Not too close, not too far. Near his grave, there's a tree with the letter F for Falcone. If you ever see it, walk away. That's what you should do. And who wrote that letter on the tree? Good question, Miss Gardner. People say Falcone himself wrote it to mark his territory. You say people? Who do you mean? I thought there wasn't anyone around here. There used to be uh, workers, maids and such. But they left gradually after Master Gardner got sick. I'm the only one left, I'm afraid. And what about you? Are you planning to leave as well? No. Not me, miss. Been here too long. This is my home. And I hope I can be of service to you as I was to your uncle. I would love that, Dante. Uh, are you expecting anyone else, miss? No, just the two of us. Planning to stay here tonight? Yeah, we'll stay here for the time being. You do know the house is dirty. <laughs> it's been empty for quite a while. It's okay, that's it, don't worry. We'll manage. Okay, then. <laughs> I'll leave you to your business, then. Okay. If you need any help, uh, I'll be around. Okay. Thanks. Good afternoon, then. Good afternoon, Dante. So, what do you want to do about it? We need to lay low for a while. They're probably looking for us as we speak. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Tell me about it. We should hide it somewhere. Yeah. And then what? What if they find us? Do you have a better suggestion? If we hide the money, we'll have a chance to come back later and get it. If we survive long enough. They won't find us, Sarah. We stay here for a few months, let things cool down, and then get the money and leave. Sounds simple. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. We need it, Sarah. Yeah, but... I just... I never thought I'd be involved in things like this. Yeah, well, neither did I.
Let's go as far as we can. We'll bear the money and that's it. Okay, whatever you say. We can't see the house from here. That's gotta be good. Jimmy, look at this. put some time and effort to make some old ghost story look real. I thought he didn't believe in ghosts. Shut up. It could be someone around. We can't afford having someone to see where we hide the money. Look, I gotta tell you. True or not, this place gives me the creeps. It's probably just an animal or something. Yeah, well, let's just get this over with and get out of here, okay? Let's get out of here. We need to buy stuff for this place. Could use a TV, that's for sure. A TV, appliances, the whole works. Pass me the wine, will you? Good wine. Yeah. Dante gave it to me. It says it's from the region. Dante. <laughs> Strange guy, isn't he? Yeah. Seems like he knows more than what you think. Weird looking guy. Yeah. What about your uncle? Did you ever even meet the guy? <laughs> I <laughs> saw him once, maybe. <laughs> he moved here a long time ago. He made his fortune and bought this place like 30 years ago. <laughs> How come you get this place from a relative? You don't even know. Well, actually, he left this to my mom. But she wasn't really in the mood to come all the way to Europe, so she wanted to sell the house. And I convinced her to keep the place for the time being. 
and um, does mommy have any idea the kind of trouble her daughter is in? Oh well, mommy thinks little Sarah is taking a course in Europe for six months. <laughs> little Sarah is a naughty girl. Mm -hmm. But little Sarah is a rich girl too. Dante? Is that you? Check it out. This is why I hate big houses. Can't wait to sell this place. Just relax. There's nothing. Come on. Let's get some sleep.
Should probably hide the car just in case someone shows up. Look, look, what the hell happened to you last night? What are you talking about? Look, I, I tried to wake you. There was someone in the house last night. Yeah. Damn it, Jimmy. I've never seen you sleep like that. You just wouldn't wake up. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on a second. But there was someone in the house? Yeah, I saw someone in the entrance last night. Oh, that explains the gun next to you. And uh, you said you tried to wake me up, but couldn't? Look, I could have shot you, and you wouldn't even have noticed it. That's how flat out you were. That's odd. I don't remember anything. What about what you saw? Did you see anyone, for sure? It was a shadow. Uh, I just saw it once. I don't know. It's probably nothing. Yeah, I'm starting to think that now. I think this house is getting to me. What are you saying? You saying you're a believer now? You saw a ghost last night? Look, I'm not seeing anything, asshole. I just don't like this place, that's all. Hey, calm down, Sarah, okay? I was just joking. Take it easy. Buongiorno. Hi, Dante. Good morning. How are you? Quite fine, thank you, Miss Gardner. And you? Look, I'm glad you're here because I think I saw someone inside the house last night. Really? Well, I didn't see a soul last night. Like every other night, I should say. Yeah, well, I did see something, so if you don't mind, I would like to ask you to check the house every night before you go to sleep from now on. Is that okay? Of course, miss. I'll do as you say. Thanks. Also, I need to buy some stuff for the house. Can you tell me if I can buy some furniture in the closest town? Do you know a good place? There is a store in the center of town. You can buy your things there. Okay. Don't forget it's still a long ride. Yes, I know. Thanks, Dante. Okay. I'll leave with your business then. Have a nice day. Thanks again. Hey, Jimmy, where's the car? Uh, I parked it back there. Okay. You want me to go? No. I need a break from this place as it is. I'll go there, you stay here and keep an eye on things, okay? Okay, then. Be careful in town. Don't draw too much attention. I'll be fine. Do you need any money? No, I'm okay. See you soon, all right? Okay.
my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh star goddammit. Oh shit. Star goddammit. Oh my god. What happened? Where's Jimmy? Have you seen him? Yes, I believe he's inside. Now, are you okay? No, I am not okay. Nothing is okay. There was a man on the road. Good morning. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Oh, you speak English. My Italian is not so great these days. My name is Jones, Arvin Jones. This is private property, sir. What is your business here? I do understand that. I'm just looking for someone. I'll be on my way soon enough. No one but me around these parts. I can't see that. I suppose it's your car on the road back there. I suppose it is. If you must know, it broke down when I came back here to call for a mechanic. Must be rough to have a broken car so far away from everything. Makes the world bigger. The world is just fine, Mr. Jones. Now, if you don't mind, I'd appreciate if you'd leave. We'll be on our way soon enough. But tell me, who does this place belong to? Isn't it a Jack Garner or something? If you know who it belongs to, why do you ask? Just to make sure that I found the right place. Now. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for your help. And... Good luck with your car. Dante! What did they say? Those aren't very nice people, Miss Gardner. They were looking for you. Yes. I told them no one was here, but they did not believe me. Thanks anyway, Dante. Feeling better, Miss? You were very upset before. What the hell happened out there anyway? Where's the car? The car broke down. I couldn't start it up again. We need to get it working. But there's something else, Jimmy. There was someone out there. What do you mean? I mean I saw a man coming from the woods and he was coming after me. Was it one of them? I don't think so. Sarah, it had to be one of them. Maybe, maybe they fix a car at night to ambush us in the middle of nowhere. Maybe it was one of them you saw last night, too. No, Jimmy. I don't think so. 
It wasn't them. Who the hell was it then? I thought there was no one else around. Francesco Falcone! What? The guy from the story? Come on! You were on his grave yesterday, were you not? How the hell do you know that? Yes. Yes, we were, Dante. Oh, this is ridiculous. Call it whatever you want, sir. But one thing is for sure. It is real. It was Falcone back there on the road, I can assure you that. And it was Falcone last night, too. This is what he does. Miss Gardner was lucky those men appeared. That probably drew him away from her while she was running to the house. Falcone does not like to be seen by many. Only by those he chooses. Oh, so uh, what does that mean? Are we going to die? Is this coming after us? Give me a break. Stop it, Jimmy. We need to get out of here, Sarah. That's for sure. We're leaving. Dante, what can we do about the car? Is there a mechanic in town that can come over here? Yes, sir. But only tomorrow. Today is a Sunday. You won't find any help today. Okay, okay. I want this to go smoothly. We'll leave tomorrow. We need to take that car off the road. We don't want to draw any more attention. Dante, you can come with me and help. Is it too far from here? No, it's not, but I don't want to be here alone. Okay, then. We all go. Do not worry, miss. It is not that. Locked everything. Good. Well, I should probably go. Okay, Dad. Thanks for the help. Is everything okay, Miss? Can I do anything for you? I'm okay, thanks. What about you, Dante? Are you okay? Aren't you afraid or anything? What should I be afraid of, Miss Carmen? Is he real, Dante? Is Falcone real? How can it be? There are many things in this world that are not meant to be understood or explained. Francesco Falcone is one of them. He was betrayed, Falcone, by his best friend. This Falcone's friend was involved with Salerno's daughter and got her pregnant. They were very much in love. Of course, none of this could be known. So the man lied to Salerno and led him to believe that Falcone raped his daughter. This could explain the pregnancy. He helped Salerno kill Falcone. He was there when Salerno buried him alive. He was the one who dug the hole. And did Falcone kill him too? They say he did much worse. They say he killed him 
and that his soul was forever attached to Falcone. Falcone made him his slave in the shadows of death, cursed to work the world as a lost soul. No destiny, no but. seems clear. Maybe Jones believed Dante after all. I must go. I must leave. Okay, Dante. We'll see you tomorrow when you can take care of the car. Yes, of course, sir. Good night. you think is going to happen? I don't think Jones will show up. I think he would have probably done that by now. That's not what I mean. Falcone? Yeah. <laughs> I won't worry about that, baby, okay? Let's just focus on our real problem here. The money, them, and us getting out of here safely. Okay. Should get some sleep. Big day tomorrow. Before you freeze, we 
don't want to wake anyone up at this hour, do we? Come on, man. Some place you've got here, Sarah. Very nice. You have been quite a problem for me lately, haven't you? Here, we can work this out. That, I know. We'll give you the money back if you let us go. Really? You will. How generous of you to give me my money back. Would you like to hear what I have in mind instead? Put your gun down! Do it! Stand back! Stop!
Stop! Ah! Oh, thank <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Please stand back and put the bag down, miss. What? What's wrong? What's going on, Dante? I'm sorry, miss. I cannot let you go. What are you saying? I told you to don't come here, didn't I? What? Yes, yes, Dante. Yes, it was a big mistake. You're right. I, I know that now. But, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry we had to come to this. But please, Dante, let me go. Please let me go. I don't care about the money anymore. I just don't want to die. Let me go, please. My concerns go beyond your imagination, miss. What's done is done. There's nothing I can do now. What? What are you saying? What? What is scaring me, Dante? What is this? What do you want? <laughs> No destiny, no but 